Elias Street Amo Lewis, who would later be admitted into the Advertising Hall of Fame, published an anonymous column in the Inland Printer, one of the most significant American periodicals of the 19th century, in which he discussed three advertising principles he had found helpful throughout his career. He claims in his column that a successful commercial should always adhere to a set formula. The purpose of an advertisement is to draw the reader in so that he will take notice of it and begin to read it, then to pique his interest so that he will keep reading, and last, to persuade the reader so that after reading it, he will believe it. An advertising is successful if it possesses these three characteristics of success. In other words, strong text must first grab readers' attention, then pique their interest, and then inspire commitment. Lewis' ideas are true even today, more than a century later. They are frequently utilized in the advertising sector and are expressed as the acronym IDEI. You can have more influence over your prospects' paths to a purchase by designing campaigns and organizing your website with the IDEI model in mind. Theoretically, when consumers learn about your brand and move through each stage of the model, they will form specific sensations or emotions about your good or service, which is ultimately what drives them to act. What you can do to implement iDay is as follows. Attention. Catch your audience's attention to create awareness. Interest. Drive interest by connecting with your reader. Desire. Generate desire by explaining what they get out of it. Action. Move your reader to take action. Create attention. Your target audience will start to be interested in what your business truly does if your content can capture their interest and hold it. The consumer is asking, what is it, at this point? You need to get your material in front of them initially in order to reach this stage. This is accompanied by improved brand recognition and compelling messaging. Using effective content marketing is one way to get people to visit your website. You can draw people in and offer a solution if you produce content that addresses their issues and focuses on their interests. If done correctly, Google, social media, and other channels should be able to help your target audience find your material. Generate interest. After becoming interested in your offering, your target market will want to know more about your company, the advantages of your solution, and how well you might match their needs. The objective at this point is to have them say, I like it. Your content must be compelling and interesting to reach this point. This level of idea is about maintaining their attention, whereas the previous step is about grabbing it. This is possible via a hook. Example. Let's assume that your content marketing was successful in attracting them to the website so they could learn about a need, problem, or pain they were experiencing. Then you might hook them with captivating storytelling that explains the rationale for your approach. Humans respond to stories, and they are an easy method to provide information in a way that piques interest and empathy. You must ensure that your prospect's passion for your brand exceeds a particular threshold in order to excite them sufficiently to motivate them to take action. Your chances of success increase as you become more in line with their requirements and values. Nurture a desire. People do right by the people they respect, believe, and are familiar with. The I Day model's first two stages establish the know and the like. This stage aims to transform I like it into I want it. And the final component of the puzzle, trust, is cemented in to do that. Continue giving them content to achieve this. Make sure they download your offers, follow you on social media, and subscribe to your blog. Prospective customers will develop a greater level of trust in your company the more they interact with it, increasing their likelihood of making a purchase in the future. Drive to action. Give your prospects the chance to take advantage of that desire once you've created enough demand for your good or service. After all, if there isn't a clear next step, what value is developing content and cultivating close relationships with prospects? The objective is to get them to say, I get it. Whatever the next step is, you should compel people to take it by making calls to action that are low friction yet high incentive.